Hey y'all, welcome back to The Pink Envelope. I am so excited to launch a brand new to the channel subscription box. So, John and I have been painstakingly looking for a great coffee subscription. So that means we order the box, it comes in, we drink several bags. We were trying to find more than one bag's worth <laughs> of coffee and then decide if it's good or bad. We've gone through so many. Either it was too complex to subscribe, or the coffee was inconsistent, or there was a problem every single time. And then we found Yes Please. We found Yes Please by hanging out with one of our friends who's a coffee connoisseur. And so shout out Mike for hooking us up with Yes Please. We got our box in, and they are a coffee blend. And we thought, no, no blends. Whoa. We were super, super wrong. We have drank three different bags worth. So good. So, so, so good. And the same price point we were paying driving up to our local coffee shop. So you choose the frequency in which you want your coffee delivered. You can choose between decaf, single origin, the mix, or the Homestar Espresso. So they have some options for you guys to check it out. Um, and they have bag sizes depending on how much you drink. I do have those things detailed below. We'll kind of run through it some here, but I also have their website down below if you want to go dig some more. But you can get a bag for as cheap as, let's see here, $20. It uh, looks like is the cheapest option. Shipping is free in the U.S. and if you use code PINK15, you get 15% off your purchase of a coffee subscription. And they did say it includes prepaid gift subscriptions, so that's wild. If you're looking to gift the coffee subscription, you can use that coupon code. We rarely get that. Each shipment is accompanied by an in-house printed risogram with notes from the founders, a playlist and information about the coffee, new orders, ship pretty quickly and then you fall into sequence from there. You also can change the type of coffee and you can change your frequency based on what your needs are. I know from summer to winter, I do not drink the same type of coffee. I like to mix it up. So let me pull these puppies out for you guys. So I might be able to go grab some of the beans. We might have an empty bag of beans, maybe in the kitchen still. They might already be in the coffee grinder. So we like to grind our coffee fresh and then brew it um, we're into espressos right now. So we do a lot of espresso, a lot, a lot of espresso. Um, but then we'll also do cold brew. We'll do pour over. We kind of mix it up. And I've only tried Yes Please, I guess, in the espresso machine, made as espresso and made as coffee. Honestly, both are great. So let's pull one of these guys open real quick so we can get something in front of us. Oh man, I wish I had smellogram. You know what I mean? If you guys could smell this, it would change everything. All right, I'm gonna toss this over here. So here is our little information. Let me show you this though. So this is what the beans look like when they come in. Let me see which one. I told them to send me a variety to share with you guys. The delicious decaf in 12 ounce or 340 grams. So this guy would be $28 if you wanna purchase just a single bag and 26 when you subscribe. And they release a fresh decaf every week. And the only source decafs using natural sugars in the water process method. So then you go into this here and I love knowing about the bean that I'm drinking. What makes it taste the, the way it tastes? And in here, it breaks down the information on all the different coffees that they're sending this week. So for the decaf, I it's not going to be able to say the name, but it's from Colombia, and it's full flavored and vibrant. This small holder coffee from Julia is a lovely decaf sweet with notes of caramel apple and chocolate covered cherries. I haven't tried this. This is my brand new shipment I'm opening with you guys, but I am stoked to try this. So typically I don't drink decaf. I, my sister does. She loves to have it in the evenings, but in the winter I will because it's cool and it's cozy and you want to cuddle up with the fire and a hot drink and coffee or tea is usually my go-to. I'm a coffee drinker. Let's vote below. If you're watching this video, maybe this makes it biased, but I prefer coffee over tea. How about you? All right, let's see what's in this one. So your shipment will look like this. You'll get your yes please bag and it will have your bag of coffee in it. I asked them to send me a variety so I could show you guys a variety of items so you can kind of get a feel for them. You know how I always say it takes three boxes for us to know if we like it? 
Well, I've already done the taste test for you. These have the official thumbs up on taste. Now I want to present to you what their packaging, what things look like. So this is the single origin selection. It's out of Colombia, an outstanding Colombian selection from El Triangulo. Maybe, maybe not. A small farm in Julio working with the innovative Manos Al Grano project supporting professionalized farm workers in picking, ensuring additional equity in a part of the supply chain that is too often overlooked. I love, love, love hearing that. You can taste the care and craft that went into this coffee with notes of navel orange, brown sugar, cola, and tamarind. So that was another thing I was having a hard time. I didn't want to source a company or coffee, like, and there's so many parts to coffee, like from the minute the bean is being grown to the point that it reaches us over here, I did not want to work with a company who was not on the up and up. That's kind of hard to find. I don't want to assume negative on things. However, if I go to your website and it's not bragging and showing that you're on the up and up, I've got to assume that there's a reason why you're not sharing that. Yes, Please has had reviews from multiple friends who love coffee and then they do a great job of sharing their why. Even on here, this is a handwritten note from the team up there. Their why is very loud and clear, so it makes it very easy to get behind them and invest in their coffee growers up and all the way to their small business here. All right, let's check this one out. Ooh, that was loud, oh my gosh. All right, what do we have here? This one is the Yes Please Sunroof. So let's read about it. This is the Mix 260 Sunroof, a foundation of fudgy sweetness from an exceptional Guatemala, a layer of caramel and stone fruits from this dreamy Nicaragua, and a kiss of berry and bergamot from the fantastic Ethiopia make this blend a beacon of beauty, an extra bit of sippable sunlight to start your day. Okay, so confession, I am most into this one. <coughs> oh no. But I'm not gonna make my final pick until I open this last one here. So is this my espresso? Yes, Homestar Espresso. A creamy bodied and sweet Serato brings deep nutty nuances for a classic espresso flavor profile and the caramel sweetness in layered red fruits of a nifty Nicaragua make it a full and balanced drink. A great daily driver, drip coffee, and a stellar espresso machine stalwart. See, that's what I was saying. This is what I got last time, and I have drank it both ways, and it was great both ways. That's funny that they notated that there because I didn't know that. I was just doing it, and it totally, totally worked. But let me just kind of give you an idea here. So this is the 340 grams of espresso. This is $28 for a single bag or $26 when you subscribe. So out of these, is this a single origin here? Yeah, so out of the decaf, the single origin, the home star, and the espresso, which one do you most relate to? What do you normally drink out of this lineup? And you can pick more than one, because I know some people start with like an espresso in the morning and end with a decaf in the evening. I went to research to see how many cups of coffee come in each of the bags, and obviously that greatly varies based on how much coffee you drink, how big of a cup, how frequently. <laughs> so to give you an idea, this is what's on their FAQ. So it says about 15 grams of beans make an eight ounce cup of coffee. So a 250 bag makes roughly 16 mugs. The 340 gram bag yields about 23 mugs. And they said that they love sharing brewing tips, so hit them up anytime you want to talk about brewing methods and exploring new brewing methods. And every time we've talked to them, they've been wonderful, super easy to chat with. So John and I each do about an eight ounce cup of coffee 
every morning. So we need roughly 60 cups of coffee. So we could opt in to have bi-weekly or two times a month shipments brought in because I want my beans fresh. I don't want to buy like a super large bag and sit on them. The fresher they are, the better your coffee is. Also, I think they only do whole beans. I don't see this here, but I'm pretty sure they do this. The only, the, the, I mean, really and truly, the only fresh way to get coffee is through whole beans. But they do say that their roast style is medium-ish for those interested. So if you're looking for a great coffee subscription, this one is it. I have found it. I worked hard to find it. <laughs> we started with a coffee subscription maybe in like June when I started this. Y'all, that's literally how long it's taken me. Um, and I highly, highly recommend Yes Please. If you have any questions, put them down below. You can also reach out to them. I can ask them questions. Once again, customer service has been fabulous. A great gift. I know I get my coffee drinking from my grandmother. My parents do not drink coffee, never have. They just not their thing. But I can remember sitting with my grandmother and her pulling out the bag of coffee, grinding the coffee and making a cup. And it has so many beautiful memories. And so if you have a grandparent that you would love to have this shipped into them so that they have worry-free coffee deliveries, this makes an excellent gift. If you want worry-free coffee deliveries, kind of like where I found myself, gift this to your household. Okay, you guys, um, I wish we could like smell this together and taste this together. Alas, YouTube has not quite gotten that innovative, not to mention with my head cold. I don't know how beneficial I would be at describing the flavors and scents. Um, but look for this to pop up more because now I'm drinking on the regular. You're going to have to hear about it. If you do not have a coffee drink in your life, but you're looking for other gift ideas, go check out our holiday gift guide. It is live and it is filled with great gift options and you can search by genre. If you want to search by price point or you want to search by topic, just go to the directory. The pink envelope directory is live. It's ready for you guys to leave reviews on if you want to. You also can sort and play on there. I am I'm building that like as we're chatting. So like literally I'll get off this video and go over there and work on that a little bit more. So if you see anything wonky, shoot me an email because I would love to get it fixed. I hope that you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. I just finished my cup of Yes Please coffee. So my day has been actually quite spectacular. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm going to see you guys later. Bye y'all.